So um, I'm just going to do two examples. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, when dividing, um, there's a couple ways we guys, a couple ways we can do this. Okay. Um, first of all, remember there was another rule that we had. That rule was the nth root of nth root of was it x over y is equal to the nth root of x over the nth root of y. Do you guys remember that? Yes? So guess what? That means, though, if I take the nth root of x over the nth root of y, I can rewrite that as the nth root of x over y. Correct? So a lot of times in dividing, it might be beneficial to rewrite this just as one division problem. So these are square roots, right? So I'm just going to try this. I'm going to say, all right, well, what about if I wrote this as 63xy cubed divided by 7y? Can I simplify this expression further? Yes? Well, you know how you can take out the y on the bottom and it'll be y squared? Yes, but uh, again, before even simplifying this, oh. uh, yes, you're right. If you looked and simplified, you could simplify the numerator and the denominator, right? So I'm really not actually following my process. I'm actually going to follow this process next. I'm actually showing you guys kind of a shortcut actually right now. Because what I'm saying is, if you wrote this as 1, here's one way to do dividing. If you write it as 1, can you simplify this expression inside here? How many times does 7 go into 63? 9. Nine. Nine. X is still up top. X is like divided. And how many times does y go into y cubed? y cubed divided by y really to the first power. y3 minus 1 equals y squared. Now, can I, use, can I take the square root of 9? 3. Can I take the square root of y squared? Y. Can I take the square root of x? No. There you go. So actually, this problem I should have warned you, when you're doing dividing, I would always take a look to see if you can simplify it.